Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I'm glad you are here. It is time for you and for me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining with me in this task. I also want to thank over 30 people now who have become partners with The Morning Mindset for as little as the price of a cup of coffee. You can support The Morning Mindset financially and help us expand. You may not have noticed, but we've already expanded into another broadcast on a periodic basis. It's called Pray With Me, or Pray Together, rather, is what I'm calling it. Pray Together. And it's where you and I can pray for each other, literally, in the moment. As you listen, you can pray with me as I pray for listeners who have submitted their prayer needs. I mean, just think of the impact of 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 people around the globe praying for prayer needs as they come in. That's what the morning mindset is is able to accomplish because we have those listeners now and we're able to share the needs of others around the world. If you would like to share your needs, please email them to prayer at carrygreen.com. That's C-A-R-E-Y green, like the color, dot com. And let us know your prayer need and give us permission to use it on air and whether or not you'd like us to use your name live on the air. Now let's move in to 2 Peter chapter 1. We've started talking about verse number 5 where Peter tells us, Because of what Jesus has done for us, and there's something we can't miss there, there is a motivation in the phrase that Peter uses for this very reason. He's saying that's your motivation because of what Jesus has done for you, giving you a place in the family and the ability to grow in your faith and all these great and precious promises and the ability to partake in his divine nature. Because of all that, Man, we should be so motivated to do what he's about to tell us. He says, make every effort to supplement your faith. And he's going to begin a list here. So let's look at the very first one. To supplement your faith with virtue. Virtue, that's a word that we don't use often in our day. But it is packed with meaning. Virtue really means high moral character. So it's the person who you look at and you respect the way they live their lives. They're kind, they're loving, they're a person who does good in the world and is not seemingly motivated by bad motives, pettiness, and selfishness. They are seemingly above all of that. Now, when I say that, I don't mean they can't be tempted by those things. I just mean they seem to successfully live in a way that they don't act out on those things. And Peter is saying, because of what Jesus has done for us, we are to make every effort to add virtue to our faith. Now, notice those two things are connected together, the virtue and the faith. The virtue flows out of the faith. And so it's going to be with every characteristic that Peter mentions here. You see, our faith, which is our belief in Jesus Christ and our belief in what he has done for us, is what gives us the ability to make an effort toward virtue. You see, we don't just grit our teeth and fight to be virtuous all in a vacuum of our own strength. Though we are making every effort, what we're doing is we're trusting Jesus, who now is inside of us, to use our effort to bring about the virtue that we're striving to have. I hope that makes sense. And let me put it in an illustration for you. Imagine a light bulb. That light bulb does not strain to produce energy. It simply receives the energy that comes to it once you flip on the switch, right? Well, that is our work, friends, is to receive the power of Jesus Christ. And because we are a little more than a light bulb, amen, we we have the ability to choose and to make decisions. That's where this making every effort comes in. We choose to apply ourselves to the reception, the receiving of the divine power Jesus has given us. And we channel it down the right corridor, so to speak, the right channel. And we channel it toward virtue in this case. And we're praying, we're working toward it. We're saying, Jesus, please make me a virtuous person. Increase the virtue in my life so others can see you through me. That is the goal. Because, my friends, there is hope that this can be a reality for you, no matter where you've come from. It could be a reality for you today. Join me again tomorrow. And, friends, tell someone else about the morning mindset.